Hi everyone! Today we will see how you can manage fields and farms using our easy to implement APIs. There are multiple API endpoints you can use to manage the fields. We will start with an API endpoint to submit a new field and then move ahead with the rest. To begin with, first of all, you have to go to our API documentation page. You can search for the Pharmanaut API on any search engine. In the developer doc page, you will get all the API endpoints and details about them. What you have to do is search for Submit New Farm Plot. From here, we can copy this endpoint. Now we will paste it in the post request in Postman. Make sure you send a post request. Then click on Body, select Raw, and choose JSON. Now we have to paste the body of the endpoint. Copy the code from here and paste it. Make sure that the UID here is the unique ID given to you. You should remember to use your own API key instead of the one given on the documentation because this is a dummy one. The coordinates should be in longitude and latitude format, not latitude and longitude. The crop code and payment type details are mentioned in the constant value section of the developer doc. Crop code is unique for the crop being cultivated at the farm. Payment type is the number of months you want to activated satellite monitoring for this farm. In my request, I have mentioned payment type one, you can give your field any name like sample field, then the points. Suppose you have to map this particular field. What you can do is take these coordinates using your application UI, store them, and then submit them into this endpoint. For this demo, I am taking the coordinates from Google Maps. I will copy the coordinates and paste them in the request. Make sure the format is longitude and latitude, not latitude and longitude. In similar manner, you have to enter all the coordinates here. Make sure that a minimum of three coordinates are required to create a shape or a boundary. I am removing this point because our field has four boundary points only. Your farm can have more than four boundary points as well. Now, just click on send to submit your farm. You will get the coordinates and many other details about your farm, and you will get your field ID as well. The field ID is very useful, and you can use it in other endpoints as well to get the details about your farm or field. This is how you can add a field using our API endpoint. Now, let's see how to delete an existing field. Suppose you entered a field by mistake or no longer require this field. What you can do is search for this delete field endpoint, paste it on Postman, and copy this body object as well. We need this UID and field ID for this endpoint. We already have the UID and field ID. Let's copy from our existing request object and change the body and send the request. And this is how easily we have deleted this field. Now, let's see how to modify your farm's boundary points. Suppose you gave a wrong boundary by mistake and now you want to modify it. To do this, search for modify field points, endpoint, and send the updated coordinates to this endpoint. For modifying field points, we need to enter the UID, which is your API key, and the new coordinates, and then the field ID for which field you want to change or modify the boundary. Let's click on Send. By performing this operation, a lot of details about your farm has changed because the farm's area has changed. Now we can move ahead and check how we can modify the crop code of our field. Let's go to our API doc, search for Update Crop Code, and copy this endpoint. Now, let's see what details we need to pass in our body. We need the UID, field ID, and the new crop code. We already have the other two details. Let's copy this crop code only. We can remove the other key value pairs. Let's check the API doc to see what crop codes we can use. Let's use 5K. Now let's click on send. We have now got the response, request has been submitted. So now we will look at the endpoint which we can use to change multiple things, multiple data fields. The endpoint name is change field data. Let's go to the API documentation and search for change field data. Now, let's copy this URL. We have to paste the URL here in the section where it shows enter URL. Now, let's see what details we need to send and what things we can change. If we see, we can enter field ID, field description, field address, name, phone, and UID. So field ID and UID are mandatory, while all the other four things are optional, which is also mentioned here in the body. These are optional things. So the things which you need to change, you can just pass to those fields. For example, if you want to change the field description only, you can just pass the field description and the new field description, and it will give you the response that the data has been changed successfully. So let's try this one. We already have the UID. What we require is the field ID and the phone number, and any other things you want to change. 
let's go there and paste it here. Now, we will look for the field ID. I have noted down the field ID here. Let's copy this field ID and paste it in after field ID here. We will change it to test form or something like that. We can enter the name as Rajesh or anything and the phone number. For now, I will take just a sample number. Now, if you click on send, it will give you the response. Yes! We have got the response data changed successfully. So this is how this API endpoint works. Using just a single endpoint, you can change field address, field description, name, and phone number. It's not mandatory to pass all four of these parameters. You can just change any of these four parameters. This is how you can use the change field data endpoint. By following these detailed steps, you'll be well equipped to manage your fields and farms efficiently using our APIs. To help you understand the various farm details provided in the response object after submitting the farm, we have included a detailed video in our tutorial series. Link is attached in the description below. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.